and the buzz on Hamilton Hive, and that's where we begin. It's called Hamilton Hive, and it's an all-in-one web resource for Hamilton's young professionals. Three are with us now. Joining us in studio, Michael Marini, Marketing Coordinator with the City of Hamilton's Planning and Economic Development Department. Hi, Michael. Hi, Jason. Stephanie Seagram, who's the manager of COSART Exchange. Hi, Steph. Hi, Jason. And Don Forbes, manager of McGilvery Accountants. Hi, Don. How you doing? Mike, we're going to start with you. I think we've done that on a few occasions here on this show. <laughs> Hamilton Hive, one stop online in a nutshell. What do you get from it? Well, you get a connection to all the young professionals uh, in the city of Hamilton. The one uh, glaring uh, misconception here we had in the city through our marketing research was that there wasn't anything happening in Hamilton for the young professionals, and that's simply untrue. So what we've done is we've created a website that links all of the major young professional groups with a common blog, a uh, calendar of events, and links to everyone's social media pages to ensure that if you're starting a career in Hamilton or moving to Hamilton as a young professional to advance your career, you know exactly what's going on and the resources available for you as a young professional. Sure. And if you don't, you just chat with somebody on Hamilton Hive and say, hey, I'm new in town. What gives in the area of you know, hydro per month at the corner of John and whatever. Absolutely. That's, that kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. That's the, that's the whole purpose of it is to start these discussions, to create these networks. And uh, what we found is by creating these networks, we have a, a stronger young professional class that's uh, uh, more in tune of what's going on. And, and in turn, with that information, they can tell their networks from outside uh, of Hamilton that this is a great place to uh, build your career. Yeah, good site. Looks good there. Stephanie, uh, COSART exchange. What is it and how are you involved here? Uh, the COSART Exchange, it's a new and dynamic space uh, designed for emerging ideas, businesses, organizations, and creative entrepreneurs. And uh, my involvement is a program director. So I develop the program, I work with the entrepreneurs, and I make sure that they're being connected to the, uh, to the businesses within the city, to the mentors that support them as they develop their businesses and their ideas, and, uh, and really just create a space and a place for them to work and get supported. I know I'm going to catch you off guard here, Stephanie, but if you have been working with any great business plans of light, any that stand out in your mind, that some Hamiltonians may say, oh, they do that here. <laughs> yeah, that is a bit off guard. I would say that uh, everyone, ah, yes, every, <laughs> everyone who comes into the COSART has a fantastic business plan or a project plan. Often in the creative industry, we, we like to talk about project plans versus business plans. Sure. Okay. And uh, Don, your involvement as uh, McGilvery uh, Accountants Manager? Well, what we, what we get out of the hive is uh, that what Michael was saying is it's a real connector for us. Um, piggybacking what Stephanie said, there's a lot of great ideas in the arts or in the innovation sectors, the creative economy. And for younger accountants to connect with these people uh, is sometimes difficult to do. The Hamilton Hive can really allow us to do that. Uh, it's not just connecting with young professionals like other banks or other law firms, it's connecting with the creative professionals as well. All right, and the art scene's big with you guys. It really is, it really is. We've been doing quite a bit in the art scene at McGilvery the last couple of months. Uh, we see it as a real catalyst to uh, the rejuvenation of the downtown and the city as a whole. Mike, I can't help but thinking that uh, there's quite a community already on this website that will continue to grow. Husbands and wives may meet on Hamilton Hive. Is it possible? <laughs> Is there any dating element here? There's, there's not a dating element. It's strictly to advance business interests. Uh, okay, in it's all very Hamilton. serious stuff. Well, we, we try to have fun. The, the events that the young professionals have are certainly uh, a fun time for everyone and the uh, the more important thing here is that they're in the downtown for the most part so oh, they're, great they're, what they're, sort of events well they have uh, art gallery crawls and uh, they're tied in with the james street north art crawl and um there's social events at a number of uh, area restaurants in the downtown and and uh, bars like that so it's uh it's really something uh that enlivens the downtown and it's something that brings a lot of young professionals downtown and keeps them downtown after five o'clock, which we're really excited about. What's a, guys, you can all answer this one, what constitutes a young professional? I know it sounds like a naive question, but you know, can you be a nine to fiver with the lunch bucket pulling a shift and still get involved here? I, I would say, Ken, if I can jump in a bit, uh, one of sure. the events um, that's been happening is the Click Group. 
Uh, I've been to probably all of those events since they started uh, roughly two, two and a half years ago. And what I found was you meet the, the typical professionals, the bankers and, and the, the lawyers and that kind of thing, which is great for us as accountants. Uh, but it's a real mixed bag. There's really a lot of different types of uh, people down there that I consider as professionals. Anyone from uh, someone who owns their own hair salon uh, to someone who has a great idea to someone who's in construction. Uh, it's a real nice mix of the people and uh, it's bringing people downtown like Michael said. Yeah, that's that's terrific. And, and Stephanie Seagram, manager of COSART Exchange, uh, you've been with the Hive for how long here? Since the inception? Yeah, yes, you've which I believe was... with it? Well, we were just, we were asked to be part of the uh, launch of their site. So as a result, we're on their site and we offer um, a conduit to other happenings within the COSART and the community that we engage with. Just, is there more happening than I'm aware of here? Is there a lot happening here in Hamilton? There's a lot happening in Hamilton. Yes, definitely. And what, uh, some of the downtown pubs and stuff that you go to, any restaurants that I don't, I would maybe didn't know about? Well, there's... Uh, Coffee there's, shops, cafes, There is actually, I, uh, I guess uh, on James North, there's one uh, that's uh, creating quite a buzz, which is The Brain. And it's a the great... The Brain. The Brain. Mm -hmm. So uh, they have great food, they have great draft, and they have a great community of people that go in there to talk, to socialize. Where else are the young professionals hanging out in Hamilton? Wow. Well, uh, mixed media is always a great uh, stop in as well. That's right at the corner of James and Cannon. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's lots of little stores happening in there. There's a uh, new uh, sort of Scandinavian furniture store that's opened up next door, uh, run by someone who's just uh, moved his shop in from Montreal. There's White Elephant, which is on James North. They've just moved across the street from Mixed Media. Uh, I just uh, talked to a wonderful uh, gentleman, Carlos, who's started up a cafe called Cafe Barbarossa. Which oh, is I saw a, that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, which is a really interesting place, and he serves wonderful Moroccan mint tea. Uh, there's there's a, a lot of interesting things happening on the street and within the downtown core and there's a lot of people that are interested in engaging and collaborating and mm -hmm. talking and sharing and I think that's what I see the most that's happening Ma right now. Michael, what do you know? Can you give us the percentages from people like that dude from Montreal who come to Hamilton to start up in, a, in what is obviously fastly becoming one of our trendier sections in town, James Street North, to mm -hmm. actual Hamiltonians investing in James Street North? Well, every day we're seeing uh, new people from outside of Hamilton coming in and, and looking at the latest um, Statistics Canada census data from 2006, that's the latest we have. Um, the biggest uh, bulk of the population living in the downtown right now are probably between 25 and 35 to 40 years old, which is a good sign that the mm -hmm. young people are moving here and uh, living in the downtown. Um, they're uh, quite well educated and uh, especially those working in the downtown very well educated and a lot of disposable income so when you look at the the demographics I think uh, it's a bright future for the downtown because it's the younger people that are moving in consistently and uh, what I like about it uh, as a Hamiltonian a lifelong Hamiltonian we're stealing guys from Toronto, so that's great. As opposed to the other way, we talked about that's brain right. drain for 30 years in this city. Mm -hmm. It looks like it may be in reverse. And Don, are you located McGillivray Accountants downtown? Oh yeah, we're right downtown, very involved with the downtown, uh, Maine and Houston. Uh, myself, I'm part of the downtown uh, BIA group as well, so. You a uh, Hamilton guy? I'm a Hamilton guy, I live in Grimsby, but. Uh, we won't hold uh, it against yeah, you. Yeah, please don't. They're I'm, watching I'm, tonight. I'm 20 <laughs> feet outside <laughs> the boundaries, so I don't get to vote in the election, but other than that, uh, <laughs> my, heart's, uh, my heart's in Hamilton. I was born here, uh, grew up in the area, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm invested in it quite a bit. In Cosart Exchange, Steph, are you yes. located downtown? We are located, we're right actually in Jackson Square. So, and we chose that specifically to be connected to the downtown core, to be connected to the revitalization of the downtown, and to be in a place where it's easily accessible for many, many people. All right, while we're on the shot, uh, who wants to volunteer to give the Hamilton Hive one last big push? Well, Stephanie, Michael, I'll do Don? It, yeah. All right, Michael, <laughs> you're the yeah, spokesperson. Uh, we encourage all young professionals and all Hamiltonians to check out the site at hamiltonhive.ca. Uh, you'll see the, uh, the calendar events there, and if you have anything that you want to contribute, just uh, contact us. It's very easy to do so. And uh, like all young professionals today, uh, heavy on the social media, so uh, link up with all these, these great groups that are there, and uh, specifically the Coes Art Exchange. Check them out if you're a young artist that uh, needs some uh, business advice, and I'd certainly recommend to check them out. But HamiltonHive.ca, that's your one-stop shop. Thank you, you three. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you.